Hey guys, so uh, for this video, I am going to show you how to uh, put a track back on your excavator when it comes off. So, I have our E50 here, and uh, track come off. Luckily, it's not too bad, it's just the front idler here that's come off. Everything else is still on. It's really bad when you get the back, or really the whole thing comes off, it's awful. Um, so, the first thing you want to do is uh, if you're in a bad spot, you can walk your machine out of the area like this. And you can just move it over to gra level ground by lifting up one side and sliding the machine. So, the thing, tools that you're going to need to put it back on is a socket set. A grease gun and a tube of grease and uh, some pry bars which are on their way so there's a plate right here oh, crap. okay well that required two hands but you loosen it this plate comes down to the side and then you can see inside here, so there's a grease zerk right here, and then a release grease zerk up top. And uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you loosen the top one, and basically what there is is there's a piston in here that pushes this wheel out, and you just fill it with grease, and that's how the track is tensioned. So you release that, and the grease will come out, so I'll do that. Alright, so you're going to need a little funky bendy wrench, but... There we go. You can actually see the grease coming out through that. So you just let it come out. If you have to, you take a pry bar and push on this. Oh yeah, and you can just do it by hand. See how much it's already come down already. All right, so all the grease came out. And just clear it away. Then you're gonna want to tighten that back up, and then uh, so when you get it all set and you pump grease in, it doesn't come back out. Okay, so I've gotten that tightened back up. Now what I'm going to do is uh, let the machine down a little. You see how much slack there is on the track? You want to let it down or else you're going to be trying to lift basically all the way to the track. But you don't want to put it down all the way. Um, so then there's, you know, a ton of tension on it. So we'll put it down. Okay, so see how the machine's still off the ground, but there's a lot of slack still in the track. So now you just use your pry bars and get it over the wheel. Alright, so we got it back on. All we had to do was get a little portion on the wheel and then you rotate the track and it'll uh, carry itself back on usually. It uh, definitely helps to have two people and it can definitely be a pain. So now we take our grease gun and we uh, hook it right up to that fitting and pump it again. So 
So you can see it tensioning the track right now. All right, so we filled it all up, and Bobcat says two fingers under this idler here, or any of them in the center, is proper tensioning for the track. So you're all set. All you got to do is close this back up, bolt it up, and you're good to go.